In today's video, I thought I would walk you through how I use Canva to create very simple, bold baby and kids animations. So I have started baby and toddler animation channel on YouTube. I would highly recommend downloading Canva. You just might want some tips and tricks. You might have never used Canva before. You might be looking to start up a YouTube channel. You can go ahead and just do like a free trial and see how you like it but yeah i'm not going to talk too much i just want to get on with showing you how i use canva i absolutely love it without further ado let's get on and i will switch over to my laptop and screen record on there so you can see what i'm doing let's open up canva so as you can see on here i've already got my design um which i've already started I'm gonna just start a fresh one i think um to show you so i'm gonna head over to the main menu and I'm going to go to create design um, and then I'm just going to type in YouTube let's just do YouTube video there we go YouTube video and then it will start a whole fresh page for me here this is going to be the size that you basically need on YouTube so you don't have to worry about things being cut off obviously you don't want to go too close to the edges but that is the general size of a YouTube video. So like I said, Canva has literally got everything. Okay, so let's do something really simple. So say I want to find a background to start off with. So I go into elements here and then I can go background. So say you wanted farm background, so you were doing like a, you know, kind of, I don't know, animal based video. Um, so I would just type in farm, the all um and no let's just choose this random one <laughs> so it will come on the page like this now in order to make it bigger i wouldn't resize it manually click on these little dots here and then i would you go down to set image as background um click that and then it will cover the whole page for you um so once you've got that um, you can obviously add elements to your video. So say you wanted to do, as you know, put some animals in there. So I don't know, let's do some sheep. Um, let's just say sheep or sheep with face because you want to make it as kid friendly as possible. And then it comes up with some really cute sheep. So I'm just going to click this one and we have the sheep. And the great thing about this is you can resize them so you can make it tiny you can make it as small and as big as you want really so i'm just going to make it about this size and place that here okay so now we've got a sheep maybe we want a couple more animals so let's put in a couple more animals so let's do pig for example and um, we want to kind of match the same sort of animation as you've already got with the sheep so i would say and uh, pick with face oh that is horrendous i would say this one's quite similar but you kind of probably want the whole body so let's find a cute little pea so this one's very cute so i'd probably choose something like that and again you can place it anywhere you like make it as small and as big as you like i'm going to keep it maybe about that height that size like that okay let's put a couple more animals in just to fill up the page so again to find the any elements you want to use on your background you just go to elements and then type in anything here now as you can see it's got some bits up there so it's got background arrow circle music it's got loads of different options but we just want the graphics right now cow cow with face um, let's just enter that. I'm trying to find one that's sort of similar to the vibe. But anyway, we're going to go for this one. So then we're just going to size it, maybe make it a little bit bigger than the other ones because it is a cow. And also, the good thing about it is you can just move them around and it's just like really easy to use. Okay, so say we've got those as animals as a base if you wanted to add a title you would just go over to text now you can pick titles here that are already created but i wouldn't do that i would go to add heading 
and then say we just wanted to write animals in order to move this you just want to move it up like that just to get it in space so we can see because we need to basically edit and animate the title and then we can move it to where we want it we've got it there so say you wanted to first of all change the font so i would go down here they have an endless amount of font my favorite one to use personally for my kids channel are as you can see recently used any of these ones so lilita one wedges cherry bomb that one i haven't really used and this just because i feel like they're the most kid friendly so let's have a look at these ones and just see so you could do something like that that's really sweet I usually use this one just because the, as you can see, the text is a little bit clearer than on the other one, um, or this one. But let's just go for this one for the sake of the video. So say if you didn't want the words black necessarily, it gives you photo colours. So it's actually great because then you can match any of the colours for your text that are within your image already or within your video already. So it will really give you that sense of sort of like, what's the word that I'm looking for? Let's just say consistency throughout your video. If you use this, sometimes I don't, sometimes I want something really contrasting. Um, so I am just gonna choose a random color. I'm gonna just choose that color for now. We could change it, but let's just see. And then here to me, that still doesn't stand out very well. So I'm gonna change it to this color actually. <laughs> What you can do is, number one, what I like to do is go to spacing and then I like to add letter spacing. Just because I think, obviously, if you're doing a different type of video, I think it's fine. But with um, kids' videos, I feel like they need to understand what the, the letters and writing and words say. So I like to just put some letter spacing in there. And once I've done the letter spacing, I then like to put an effect on it to either make it stand out or, you know, outline the words. So it has a number of options. So you've got shadow, lift, hollow, all of these options. And I like to use outline for my animations. So I'll click outline. And as you can see, look how much difference that has made. Here it has the colour of the outline. So I'm going to actually change that maybe to, I want to say I might do black. Just so it pops a little bit more. And then you can also adjust the thickness of the outline. So I might just make that a little bit thicker like that. And that looks great to me. Also wanting to change the font size. So I'm just going to go up to here where it says font size and just keep going until I have the font that I want. Obviously, it's great to make the text really big and bold and um, just so it's easier to see and read what it says. So there we go. I might even do a little bit more of the letter spacing in there. There we go like that and for me personally i probably wouldn't keep that font just because i feel like it's not the clearest so i'm just going to change it there we go perfect okay so there we've got our title now i still want to do something with this like obviously it's a video and you just don't want it to be stagnant on the page let's start with the text as that was the last thing we were doing so i'm going to click on this text and we're going to go to animate now with the animations you can create your own animation but that's not really necessary especially with the text so let's go down so it has a number of animations so as you can see let me go through them so rise pan is a fade pop which i really like to use for my kids animations i think pops really work a wipe a blur a succession breathe baseline anyway there's loads <laughs> you can obviously have a look at these yourself but there's quite a few. That one's really cool. We've got skate. I quite like the bounce. <laughs> so let's click bounce and then you can lower or higher the intensity. So I feel like when I lower the intensity, it almost slows it down as well slightly. So I just want it a bit slower like that. Okay, so, so obviously down here, you've got add a motion effect. It, uh, sorry, add motion effects. So you can do rotate, flicker, pulse, wiggle. I like to use these ones for like my animals. If I'm making like a cute animal video or something, then I would like to use these little ones for my animals to move. So it just creates a little bit of interest for, you know, the uh, whoever's watching it. So let's just stick to our title. So we've got our title now moving how we want it to move. So. I was quite like something else to it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it 
and I'm going to go to effects so we've already done this part but what I might do is I might go down here and I might add a curve so you just want to click on uh, where it says effects and where you made the outline and then if you just go down to the bottom you can see that it will say none which means a straight line or curve so I'm just going to click curve now I don't want my curve to be as curved as it is I want it to be slightly less curved than that so all you do is where it says curve underneath you just drag that down and it opens up the curve now that is probably how I would like it so I'm just going to okay my um video just stopped recording for a minute there okay so we're just going to place that where we want to place it and again it comes up here so here you've got where the background is and here you've got the animal so I can actually adjust that so I don't want the animals to come up straight away as soon as you open the page. I just like to leave it a few seconds. Let's say we've done with the title. So now we've put these animals in here. Let's animate them a little bit. So we're just going to click animate. And again, you can use all the different, you know, similar to the ones that you use on the text. You can use those on your images too. You can make it tumble in. That's quite cute. I might do that one and again you can adjust the intensity to make it come in slower okay so say if i didn't want the little pig to come in at the same time as the text i would just click on the little pig it's already come up here and i would just adjust it so it comes in a little bit later than the text okay, let's do the same for the sheep let's choose a good one for the sheep so i you know let's make the sheep pop slow him down a little bit and then I'm just going to have him come in a little bit after the sheep. And then for the cow, I'm actually going to show you how to animate something yourself. So instead of using these ones that are already on there. So you can actually go to animate. And here where it says create animation, take your cow. And then you're just going to move it however you want to move it. So if I wanted to move it like this, I know it's going to go over the other animals, but I just want to show you how it works. Okay, and then look. So here where it says movement styles, um, you can uh, click smooth, which will just almost sort of slows it down a little. Go steady. Let's change when this cow comes in. So we're just going to change it. So let's, I don't know, do him last there once all the characters are done and this is done then just kind of go back and look at it and just make sure you know you have everything you wanted so i'm just going to add something else as well for the sake of showing you on the video so i'm going to go back to elements and i'm going to type in let's say uh let's say butterfly flutter i think click on butterfly flutter and then they should give you images of some fluttering butterflies that will be somewhere there we go so there's one here so we can click this one i just want to adjust the size a little bit just say like that basically i just want something else just to add to my video you know just layering basically layering the elements until you get um what you want so i'm just going to bring it to here because i'm going to then do another little animation so I want my butterfly to fly across the screen. So I'm going to go to animate, um, create animation. And then I'm just going to move the butterfly across the screen um, like that. And then that will give the butterfly's pathway. I'm just going to actually change this to steady maybe. You can also adjust the speed so I can slow it right down or I can do it really fast. <laughs> That's a bit too fast so if we just go to the top actually you don't want the butterfly to come in straight away i want the butterfly to come in so let's play what we've done from the very beginning okay that looks great obviously <laughs> i wouldn't have the cow going all of, all the way across the whole picture but that 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 was just to obviously show you the animation, how you can yourself move the characters on the page. So they're the, really the basics of creating or starting to create. Very simple, 
videos on youtube like i said they're extremely simple it's nothing too complex it's just going to learn it yourself and the more you do it the easier and the quicker it gets i think i have about four videos so far posted on my channel i actually might do another video and um, just about that starting my channel and my analytics delve into a little bit about that if you have any kids or young toddlers yourself that'll be interested in the animations on my channel the channel is called little margo learning so if you just type that on youtube i'm sure it will come up but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video